In this segment, we're going to take a look at the uh, quarterly reported numbers before we go to the next segment where we're going to take a look at the stock price and the, uh, the price chart to see where the price uh, might be headed. So let's go through some of the key uh, metrics that I, uh, I sort of have highlighted. The uh, key thing here is that it has delivered 7,900 vehicles in the fourth quarter. Uh, here's the total revenue for the quarter is 499.7 million US dollar and the uh, gross margin uh, positive 0.4 percent okay. and the uh, the net loss for the quarter is 509.5 million for the quarter for Q4 and the uh, the per share loss is uh, 49 cents uh, unadjusted and if adjusted excluding share uh, base compensation and the other stuff then it will be uh, would be uh, 47 per, uh, cents per share loss it's the uh, recent development is that in uh, January and February of 2019 you know the delivery of the car was uh, you know kind of uh, less than uh, anticipated it delivered 1805 and 811 uh, vehicle uh, respectively between January and February okay. and the uh, the uh, reason for the uh, slow or the reduction is due to the uh, Chinese New Year and also the reduction in the uh, China EV uh, subsidy for uh, 2019. Just the uh, business outlook as I said you know the delivery is going to be between 3,500 to uh, 3,600 vehicle uh, that would be about 56.1% uh, to 52.4% decrease from the uh, fourth quarter vehicle delivery uh, run rate. Remember, uh, they deliver 7,900 car, so this is way less than that 7,000. So certainly, that's going to put the uh, gross margin uh, way behind the eight ball again. Uh, and the uh, total revenue they anticipate to be uh, somewhere around 202.3 million to 220. 0.5 million. So again, that's a uh, big reduction. There's a represent 59.5 percent to 55.9 percent from the Q4 numbers. Okay, so those are the key uh, metric. Not very uh, encouraging. Let's take a look at the trading action after the earning posted by Neo. As you can see, it actually uh, went up a bit early on as soon as the report came out. Then you see that it faded all the way down to uh, 886. And now it is down after the conference call Q&A session. Now the last trade is 835. So looking at the uh, close here uh, from the regular hour session to the uh, last trade after the conference call, it is down 17.73 percent or dollar 80. Take a look at this chart here th and here's the uh, the uh, the projection on the uh, market uh, pricing in this uh, projection on a move of uh, somewhere around 1260 to uh, 750. That's the uh, revised one from the audio uh, projection that I took off uh, from the Friday's uh, close and this is about uh, five or ten minutes before the close today so uh, as you can see that the uh, price actually uh, came down during the after hour after uh, earning post earning and it is uh, you know the low here is just one penny shy of the uh, of the close the chances are it probably uh, will uh, come back in to this uh, eight level and maybe uh, try to hold at this uh, area here at 750 because there's also we have a trend line that's coming up here so we'll, we'll see you know the uh, disappointing thing there in the conference call is there's there's nothing there to uh, to express about you know what will be after Q2. Uh, how are they going to pick up the delivery on the car? You know, with the incentive going, uh, you know, getting reduced. Uh, anyway, so uh, that is that for for now for this uh, quarter on Neo. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you don't, give it a thumbs down. And if you're not a uh, subscriber to my uh, YouTube channel, click on the subscribe button and also click on the uh, bell icon so you will get notification whenever I uh, post a new uh, video on my YouTube channel or whenever I do a live uh, broadcast on YouTube.
Thank you for watching and have a good evening.